Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the workshop and the next instalment in the Cambria versus Cambrian builds of the P51s. In the last video, um, we just I just about got the wings fully fitted to the fuselages uh, and this is what they look like. As just as it stands right now, this is as far as we've got. Um, so the wings, this is the Cambria, this is the Cambrian. The no, while I was waiting before in the previous video, I fitted the sheeting to one side. Um, and if you didn't really notice, I made a glaring mistake here by cutting this piece of sheeting too short. But I can sort that out, that's not a problem. Um, so what we've got to do now is start looking at the fuselages to see what we need to do next. On the Cambrian, Cambrian the next thing to do is the elevator seat area here so the snake can be sorted out and go through it. Once those two pieces are, sorry, once that one's done, I can then get the snake all secured all the way through and then get this piece of sheeting on. I can also get this piece of sheeting on and actually have it come all the way back, as it should do. Um, and I can repair it or splice in the piece of sheeting to go in here. Um, on the Cambria, I've got the top deck on here. The rear top deck, I need to work out how far back it extends because I know it goes over the top of the tailplane. So what I might have to do is put it in place, measure out how long it needs to be, glue it in place, and then sand it underneath so the tailplane can fit in when it comes to it. Um, we might have to look at how the push rod goes in as well, because it's going to be a lot easier to do it without the sheeting on. Um, so yeah, that's the, the next stages. Um, so I'm going to get the wings off the fuselages and see what we, see what we can get on with. In between the last segment and now, I've discovered that, how can I word it? You properly messed up on both of them. I've properly messed up. Not necessarily on both of them. Uh, yeah. Only a small mistake on one and a bigger mistake on the other. So. Still substantial mistakes. Yeah. But not, nothing that can't be sorted out. No. Just need to figure out the best way of sorting it out. So. The Cam Cambrian. The Cambrian version is this one. This is my mistake. This this sheeting should have come all the way to here and have a join here. So that's my mistake. But that can be rectified on this side by having this as one piece all the way to the join here. And I can just make an infill piece to go in there. Not a problem. Um, so really what I need to do is get the rear piece on this side done. Before I do that, I need to get the snakes all glued in, and before I do that, I need to get the tailplane seat piece here sorted out. So that's the plan going forward with this one. The bigger problem is this one. This is the Cambria. Now, if you notice on the Cambrian, you put the top deck on first, and then the side sheeting comes over the top of that and round it. And I made, obviously, an assumption that this was the same with the Cambria, but it's not, it's the other way around. You put the sheeting on first, and then the top deck on top of it. I discovered that because I started looking at what needs to be done down here. Now you've got a piece of balsa that sits in here, part number 12, wherever it is. It's that piece there. And I thought, oh, that should glue onto the fuselage side. But I thought, hold on. Where does the fuselage side come to? So the fuselage side, I don't know how well I can do this one-handed, sits like that, lining up at the rear, and it comes down to there, which is all well and good. And then that doubler piece there sits inside. Great, that's all fine. So I thought, right, I can get that glued on. Started checking to make sure, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Could you help just holding, holding the fuselage up? So... If you, look at, if you look at the height there, it's just shy of the former. And then on this one, once it's curved round, it's going to be shy of the former. And the same with that one there, it's going to be shy of the top of the former. And that made me think, first of all, hang on, it's too short. I've got to somehow make it taller. Have I made a mistake? But then I also thought, that must mean that the top deck goes on top of the fuselage side. Which then made me think, hang on, I've made a complete mess of the front. 
by putting that on first. So, what I've got to do is quite possibly make new rear sides, which isn't a problem at all, where this edge is quarter of an inch taller, no, quarter of an inch more material. The bottom edge is straight, the tailplane seat is all where it should be then. Um, so two of them, quarter inch taller on this edge, which means I can then get the rear fuselage side glued on and possibly even the top deck. The sides for the front are also marry in with that idea that the sides go on first and then the top deck goes on after because they are only just proud of the top of the formers. So as I've got well, quite a bit of wood laying around, I'm actually going to cut this piece of half inch balsa off, which is a bit of a waste, sand it clean again, get the sides glued on, and then put a new piece of balsa on top, half inch thick, to allow it to be shaped round. It is a big annoyance, but it's not the end of the world. I might have to write down everything I need to do on each one, mm -hmm. and then tick it off as I do it, yeah. so I keep track of it. Um, so I'm not quite sure which one to start on first. I, I might just cut that off so it's off and done with. I would say start with this one, because then we get it to the same stage as this one. Well, no, we've got a lot more to do to get it to the same stage as this. Yeah, so start on this one. Yeah, to get it clean. And then keep going, so we can get it to the same stage as this one. Yes. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that off, uh -huh. I think, on the Cambria. But on the Cambrian, I'm going to get this side piece in, because it means I can get the snake in there. Mm -hmm. And I can then get the snake all secured in, and I can get this side on. Yeah. Which will be progress. And then I can then bring this forward fuselage side up to it. Yeah, so it's all a case of working out what order we've got to do things in. Yeah, so, some steps backwards before we go forwards again. Okay, so continuing the theme with issues, um, this is the Cambria, Cambrian, Cambrian version. Um, this is part of the, this is one side of the tailplane seat. So what we're going to do is put that in place and get a hole made for the snake to come out through. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to do it with it loose and just keep on matching it up until it's in the right place. Now, I've got my finger on the opposite side flush with the fuselage side, and you can see, hopefully, it's about a quarter inch too short in length. The plan shows that it comes up flush with this. That's not the end of the world. Once these two are on, I can put a piece of balsa up there and actually join the two pieces together, and I'd make it a bit of a stronger joint. That's fine. The issue really is if it's square and vertical at the back, you've then got, again, I don't know how well you're about to see. You've got the issue where at the front, it doesn't follow the side. So what I'm gonna to have to do, if that will just stay in place, is I'm gonna to have to block out here so it can be carved to, you no, know, come back to about where my finger is, somewhere there block that out with balsa and then sand it flush across the top for the tailplane to sit on um, because half of this side is going to be carved off for shaping um, and it's only just again I don't have all you're about to see it's only just touching the inside edge so that's all going to be carved off so it's not the end of the world but it's something to note um, this, as I said this is the Cambrian kit um, Nothing that's insurmountable. It's actually quite a, a relatively easy fix, but it's yet another thing that's different, awkward between the two kits. This is, I think, the length thing is a kit mistake. Um, I don't think the front end is something I've done or not done, because it's all laser cut parts. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make a hole for the snake and try and get this to fit. Right then, um, I'm not exactly sure where I left off, um, but I've made a bit more progress on 
the Cambrian. Cambrian. Um, one of the things I was trying to do, or wanted to make sure of, was that the tank would fit through the holes, etc. And it doesn't. Let me show you. So what we've got, before I even built the model or put the fuselage together, I actually opened up this former to allow the tank through. And then I think I said previously, when I was actually looking at building it, I had a look at the plan and thought the tank wouldn't get through this area and it won't. So it physically, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but even with it as shaved out as possible, it's not gonna get round the bend to get in there. So we're gonna to have to go with four ounce tanks, which isn't the end of the world. It's just one of those things. Um, got the rear right hand elevator seat on, tailplane seat, and we will have to block out this bit here. Um, left hand rear is gluing along this joint just now. And once that's done, we can then roll it round and glue it down. And obviously I've repaired this bit here, but what least said about that the better it's gonna be fine once it's uh, sanded and whatnot so yeah we can now get this tank out I will just check that a four ounce will go in but if a six ounce won't a four ounce will and then I can get this fuselage side on here once we've got this rear bit on so just wait on glue drying again okay so on the Cambrian kit um, we're actually starting to look like a fuselage now um, we have got I think from where I left off last time, we're actually gluing in the push rod and gluing in this tailplane support. So that's all glued in. The push rod's epoxied to it. You should be able to see it just there. Um, I've then put this piece of sheeting on, then this piece of sheeting, then glued in this tailplane seat and put in this block that I was talking about previously. It's basically to allow this corner here to be shaved and sanded and whatnot to suit i'm not gonna i'm gonna take the minimal amount off there just to sort of fair it in um and the same the other side and then i'm going to put a piece of balsa up here to extend the length of that um and then really something things that we could be doing is getting the those pieces on the bottom they could be going on um, I've done a bit of rough shaping of the top here just to get the, the sheeting down to size but that could be something we could look at getting that sanded down um, and then it's going to be doing more work on the Cambria um, the Cambria kit now that's going to take a bit more work and the reason why I'm concentrating on this one just now is to be able to get this almost cleared off the bench so I'm going to need a bit more space um, to cut some new sheeting for that kit um i have on the other one glued on the cambria glued on a couple more bits underneath like those under under belly fairing pieces they're glued on things that can go on while i'm waiting to get the sheeting on um so yeah we're making progress um i'll come back to you a bit when i've done some more right then a little bit more progress has been made <coughs> um Again, I'm not exactly sure where I finished the last little bit, but I'm working on the Cambrian fuselage. Um, it's looking like a fuselage. I started shaping the tail end a little bit to see where I need to add filler and whatnot, but nothing major there. Still need to add the rear piece on there. Um, we've got the, what's the word, characteristic underbelly piece on and i started doing the sheeting now you may be saying why have i got that gap in between it well that's because that's going to be an easier piece to fit than either end so i'd rather have complete pieces at either end than just fill in that piece in the middle and then continue along towards the back end also got the first piece of the block underneath at the front on so that one's quite well on <coughs> um similar sort of state with the cambria Got the underside nearly dropping it. Got the underside pieces on, and you'll notice this piece of bolt in the middle. It's simply because I wanted to block out the sheeting that goes underneath, up right where my thumb is to that former, um, give it some support. 
it's probably not needed but it's just for peace of mind if I'm sanding and shaping I wanted to have some support in there for the sheeting um, but you can see that the the fusage is appearing to be a lot further behind than the other one which it is um, what I need to do is I've mentioned it before already in this video is I need to cut new fusage sides at the rear I want to have space on the bench to do that so I've got to a stage now with the cam in where I can clear it off the bench to carry on with this one. What I'll probably do is carry on with that in the next video. Um, we seem to have got to a convenient point just now on the builds to call it a day on this video. Um, so you have to check back soon for the next instalment. Um, if you're liking this sort of content, give us a thumbs up and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. It's all greatly appreciated. Um, any comments, questions, criticisms, put them down below. Um, down below as well, there should be links to where both these kits have come from. I will check those links are still current. Um, but yeah, from myself and Ewan, who's beavering away in the background, we'll catch you next time.